All right. Brief pause in the stream there. What to do when plans go awry? Just like that. Well, the simple answer is you adjust. You know, very often we create these plans and we set um, a level of expectations and then have difficulty living up to those expectations. Or, you know, the conditions have difficulty living up to those expectations. And, you know, the, the reality is that a plan is just that. I think it was uh, Patton, General Patton said, no plan survives first contact with the enemy. That's true, right? I can have a plan to get to the office by 8 o'clock, but if there's traffic out on the highway, that's not going to happen. So what do I do? I can adjust. I can either adjust the time that I expect to get there, or I can try and find a new route to get there. But the original plan's not holding. I mean, that's just that's just the way it is. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure this was Eisenhower that said, plans are worthless, but planning is priceless. If plans are not uh, are meant to be broken, almost, why bother with them? Well, because it helps us think through the possibilities. Now, we've talked before about fear and how fear uh, comes from uncertainty, right? All fear is rooted in uncertainty. If I have thought through the possible outcomes and practiced or at least given some consideration to what I'm going to do if that outcome occurs, then my uncertainty is diminished. Maybe it's not completely removed, but at least it's diminished so that I can have more confidence in what one of many possible outcomes is. You know, I, I mean, you, you guys know, live here in North Alabama, we don't get a lot of snow and ice around here, and folks around here don't know what to do, except make French toast, I guess, because they go to the store to get milk, bread, and eggs. Anyway, if you're, I, I you know, live out on the east side of town, over the mountain, if you're in town and it starts snowing, raining, it's turning to ice, you got to start making plans on how you're going to get here. Well, one, the, the direct route may not be available or might be a little treacherous to, treacherous to try and drive. So what are some alternatives? If you go this alternative route, what if this road's closed and that one's open? You have to start thinking through those things. But as you have a plan and you've thought through some of the possible contingencies, your anxiety, your worry, your fear is diminished. That's why we have a plan even if it goes wrong. Now, I want to leave you with this story. I, you know, two of the people that I have enjoyed working for the least in my career have probably taught me the most about running a business and how to be a good leader. Actually, it was don't do this and you'll be a good leader. Anyway, one of them said uh, at one time he was running the company, had several division leaders. One of the division leaders wasn't going to make his quarterly plan. So he flew into town in order to submit his resignation. And this guy I was working for said, well, why are you quitting? Well, I didn't make my plan. He's like, dude, it's just a plan. If you're not going to make the plan, change it. I mean, it, the, the plan is there so you can have some direction. I mean, this goes back to what we talk about all the time. You have to have some direction that you're headed. Now, is the journey going to be a straight line to get there? No. I'll guarantee you that today. Right? Earlier this week, we said the only thing that's guaranteed in life, only thing that's certain in life is that things are going to change. That's it. I'll guarantee you your path's going to change before you get there. But if you think through some of those potential pitfalls, some of the obstacles, some of the detours you may have to take on the journey, it won't be nearly as bad. He says sometimes you can only do the best you can despite the plan. That's true. The best you can do is all you can do. Or said another way, all you can do is the best you can do. I mean, we should strive to put our best level of effort, our highest level of effort into anything that we undertake. But... If we can satisfy ourselves with a, that, that we have applied the best level of effort possible, 
There's no shame in that. There's nothing to go back and think over. There's nothing to go back and replay in your head. Yeah, I mean, do you do an after action to see if there's anything you could have done better for next time? Yeah, sure, but don't dwell on it. You don't live there. Remember, if you're living in the past, you can't be living in the present. It's just the way it works. All right, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up uh, today, today's show. This is Thursday, so one more show this week, tomorrow morning at 7. That's Friday. That means it's free coaching Friday. If you have a question, comment, or a topic you would like for me to get in, shoot me an email, tom at tomrigsby.com. Leave me a comment somewhere here on this page. That will get to me also, and we'll take up that topic tomorrow. Otherwise, you guys have a fantastic Thursday. And I will talk to you tomorrow.